What is up guys, Johnny here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we check out the brand new update in Cut Mobile. A lot of stuff was added to the game. Uh, more stuff in the shop, of course. New soldier skins, new weapons. Some crate players now got bundles in the shop. You guys might want to check out your store. And also a credit store update. We're going to check what's new in the shop. So let's get into it, guys. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now for daily Call of Duty Mobile videos. Let's go. So we're gonna start with the bundles and as you can see I don't have crates in my shop I only have bundles some players only had crates but since today or last night uh, as you're watching this some guys have both bundles and crates let me show you a few screenshots I saw on reddit all right so that's the first one and you can see on the top he's got bundle and crate and he only has one offer in the bundles it's the battle hardened 2 we're gonna check the content of the bundles in a minute uh, but we got different content for different players. Now this is from another player, also surprised he got to the shop and now he has bundles and crates. But this guy's got three different bundles. Now that's the last one. This one's got four bundles, it's three purples and one blue, no greens. So you can see they're really trying stuff. They want to see how players will buy if they only have crates, how they will go if they only have bundles. And if they have both, well, what's going to be maybe the ratio, but they're definitely testing things out uh, in April, as they mentioned uh, a while ago. I know there's a lot of frustration in the community. Uh, a lot of people think it is not fair. Well, it is not fair that some guys can have some stuff for cheaper and everyone agrees with that. So the only official word is probably they're just going to remove everything at the end of the month. It's only for April. Probably we're going to be back with crates after the test. But again, what I'm thinking is probably when some countries will have laws against gambling in video games, maybe they will put bundles in these countries. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's what they're trying to figure out before some countries adopt some new laws. But anyways, let's check out the content now, guys. Uh, four new bundles, maybe five, six. I don't even know anymore. I made a video about a week and a half ago, and I did show all the content of all the bundles that were in the shop because you guys some of you guys don't have bundles and wanted to see what's in there but the new stuff guys is the new firebreak panda all right so that would be a lucky draw right now for players that only have crates and some players that have crates and bundles will also have the lucky draw if they don't have the panda bundle so uh yeah once again guys is the new stuff they added in the game a while ago and these equipments uh, the helmet, the bodysuit, and the backpack, you can only equip to the to the Firebreak uh, Panda. So if you have the other Firebreak guy with the rabbit suit, you are not able to put the Panda suit on the other Firebreak skin. So that's very specific to only one soldier skin. And I don't know what's the deal with that. I would have liked to see like headgear and stuff that you would be able to put on any character skin you have. That's kind of weird they did that. But again, uh, the models are different, you know, on, on some of these skins. So you probably wouldn't fit wearing a headgear with a different suit. I, I don't know for real. And then they added some weapons from the Lucky Draw also. Meteor Shower, uh, the knife and the UL736. So again, it's 2400 cut points. Definitely cheaper than buying the Lucky Draw spin after spin, but you cannot get the Soldier for cheap if you just spin a few times. So that's the only uh, difference. Then you got the fully, fully posable uh, bundle with the action figure Ruin. A lot of comments about that one. Uh, I don't know what you guys said. I don't like it. I'm not going to buy this, but I'm really, really curious about the cardboard weapon skins because you got two epic weapons in this one. It's uh, two good weapons also, Type 25, I still like this weapon. And the RUS 79U, very nice weapon. But the skins are very unique, like cardboard looks. Uh, and if you see some guys on YouTube, they, they will build weapons with cardboard and they're actually functional, you can shoot uh, projectiles with it. So I really like the design and stuff, and I would like to have these two weapons, but I don't want to spend 2400 card points for these two weapons. Because the skins, I, well, the skin, the soldier skin, I don't like. I don't want to use that one. It's just going to sit there. So it's going to be a bit expensive for two weapons. But again, if you get crates, it's even it's even worse, right? The, the next one I wouldn't buy, guys. It's a parachute, a wingsuit, 
and some decent weapons, galvanized skins, nothing special guys, but a DLQ 33 here. And again, there's so many different DLQ skins. Uh, I don't think I would use that one. So I'll pass on that. This will also be a pass. It's a M16 and a BY15. I wouldn't buy even for cheap, uh, not worth the money. The next one is Battle Hardened 2. It's all green stuff, not worth the 420 points in my opinion. And I would probably pass on that. And the last one is the uh, No Smoking Bundle number three. So we had a few more before. Uh, that one, another BY or M4 stuff that i don't really use so i'm gonna pass on everything guys well maybe i'll get the the fire break a lot of comments or questions if i was gonna buy it i'll see probably i will but i'll pass on the rest now let's check out the new update to the credit store guys and it's not so good compared to what we had last time i was pretty excited for the last update we had a lot of cool stuff recently the msmc jade although some guys say it's not super great well, it's, uh, it's an epic MSMC, and finally they added more uh, epics in the shop. Uh, and previously they added the PDW Royal Crimson. So a lot of stuff to buy with your credits. Expensive stuff, rare stuff. And they actually added a, a few cool weapons on top of that. Uh, Cubic Illusion here. Uh, the AK-117 also I really like. So they got great stuff lately. They also added the zombie stuff. It was pretty good, but this time, guys, I don't know. They added a soldier skin, all right? And correct me if I'm wrong, because I already have it. But they added the Spec Ops Arctic. And I think it's something that you could buy in the past with tokens, uh, redemption tokens. Uh, and you had to collect and exchange for it. And now you got it in the credit store, so I don't know. And I don't even know how much it costs. Let me know in the comments, guys. But, yeah, I... It's not great, but if you missed it, now you can buy it. XS1 Goliath, if you missed these events to unlock the new score streaks and stuff, you can always buy later in the credit store. Now let's check out the weapons. Four new weapons, and this one I already have for some reason. It's an old, unrare skin, uncommon. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's pretty bad. This is a HG40, also I'm not a big fan of that. The reticulated skin... I don't think it looks great, but you know, I'll buy everything still. Uh, Easter PDW is pretty cool, but it's not a rare. Again, it doesn't have perks. And then the only rare addition is an M4. And M4, we got tons of M4 skins, and it's not a great weapon. I'm not a big fan. Super slow time to kill. So basically, there's nothing I'm excited to buy, like nothing I'm like, oh nice, finally I'm gonna waste or spend points on something cool. Everything sucks kind of, but you know, just gonna buy for, for the collection purpose. So yeah, 6,000 credits I'm gonna have to spend here guys to buy everything, uh, which is not bad at all. Uh, I still have like 30,000. And let's go for the last one. It's a rare M4. The, the Cubic Illusion is a nice skin, honestly. But yeah, I use it on some weapons. I got the DLQ, uh, PDW, and I use the AK-117 in Battle Royale. It's a pretty cool skin. When you aim down sight, the top is blue on the 117. It's pretty cool. But that's pretty much it, guys. But then if you guys missed on the other stuff, you're going to have to do a little bit more shopping. So, not, not a great update, I think. Uh, the previous two updates were better than that. More exciting, at least, for me. I don't know. Leave me a comment below what you think about that. But also, once again, you might want to check out your store right now, guys, and see if you had some bundles added to your shop because you might be one of these guys. I don't know how they figured out what they wanted to do. But definitely some new players now have bundles in their shop. So let me know in the comments. Are you happy or not with the new uh, changes? And that's it for today, guys. Short video. I will see you guys later on stream. We're going to have a lot of Battle Royale to play again. Some new weekly challenges, more daily missions. And as always, there's always some Battle Royale challenges to do. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like if you did. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.